Hello my friends, welcome in a first video about how to manage light water floods in your house. We have seen the manual solutions for removing the water and now in this second video, which may not concern everybody, but essentially the people who are exposed to this kind of danger or this kind of problem, we will be looking at the power machines which of course requires, first of all, that there is still some power in the house. Two parts in this video, uh, one short part about the vacuum cleaner which can aspire the water and a second very brief presentation of my water pump. Let's go! Before talking about the, the vacuum cleaners, I wanted to let you know that this video has not been sponsored. Now the first thing we have to do is to change the vacuum cleaner from the dust mode into the water mode. Of course, first of all, you, your, water, your, vacuum, your vacuum cleaner needs to be able to aspire water and that you will classically recognize with this cylinder here, which will be the tank for the water. For changing to water mode, it's super easy. You just open the vacuum cleaner like this. Then you remove the dust collector, the dust bag. Once you have removed the dust bag, you can remove the dust filter. Here, it's super easy, straightforward. It says open this direction. You open it and you remove the dust filter. And then you put it back. like this. And now it's ready for water. And the very last thing about the vacuum cleaner is to make sure that you're taking the, uh, the good sucking device. So this here, in this model, it's this one, black. And then you can just add, you have to add this uh, additional piece that you can clips inside like this. And now it's ready for the water aspiration. On the bigger model of the same brand, for having the right device for the water, you take the classic uh, sucking device and you press here on the drops. And this here will make appearing this plastic and will enable the sucking the water. About the vacuum cleaner, not much to tell. It is like when you're sucking the dust. Only one thing, when as from the moment that the sound is changing, you have to cut the power, and that means that the water tank is full and that you have to empty it. Just one remark, it is a little bit like what I said in, about the Skiji. You have to be perseverant because you will see that the water is always coming back. So here we noticed that the water cup comes essentially from this little interstice between the plinth. You can even listen the water pouring out. So my wife had the very good idea of putting permanently the vacuum cleaner here at this place where the water is coming from. This here is the power button of the big vacuum cleaner. So in case you can regulate the intensity of the power you can put in minimum, this is enough.
A very important tool in case your house is exposed to water is this pump. With this pump, I think we have evacuated several hectoliters of water which were in the cellar. The principle is that you put a uh, garden hose into the water. Very important here, the hose needs to be totally immerged in the water, otherwise your pump will get tired. And you can see here that the hose is going outside through this little window. And then on the other side, it's getting out and needs to be connected to the horizontal entrance of the pump. This pump is a Gardena pump. Of course, there are many different types of pumps, but what is common with all the pumps, you need to seed with the water so that it works. So in, on this model, it works like this. You just open here. It goes into the position called fill. Then you open this button here. You can remove it so you can see if the seed worked. And now we will fill with water. And you can check if it worked by watching the, the water pouring out of here. here. Of course you have to close this one here. And then not forget to put uh, this button in the position called run. There are also some rules about the length of the exit hose as well as about the slope but this I will show you in more detail in the video about the pump. You see here through this uh, little window that you don't see much happening. This is uh, very different than from the shampooer. And then you see that the exit hose is connected to the vertical connector. And as I said about the squeegee, make sure that the water is evacuated externally or directly into the sewer. And the last thing, make sure that the hose is not crooked Otherwise, it will reduce the capacity of the pump. That's it, my friends. This uh, mini-series about uh, how to manage a light, light water flood in the house is now finished. I hope that you found it useful. Uh, I hope that you liked the, the videos. If it's the case, please leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Even if, of course, I wish that you won't be uh, needing this new knowledge that you acquired with this video. And let me also remind you that I made a little less dramatic video about how to unblock your water sink talking about water. Until then, dear friends, see you soon on Happy Hour TV One.